Hey guys, so today we're carrying on with the building of the Doomsday Ark and um, I'm off work today, I've not been too well so if the video gets a little bit jumpy and stops and pauses I'm just going to edit a couple of bits out so <laughs> I bear with me. Um, we're going to start by building the gun assembly and then move on to the ribs. So um, I know a couple of people have been waiting for this so let's get on and uh, get it sorted and then I can crack on to some other projects as well. Again it's going to be one of these ones where I'm going to paint bits and bobs as we go along particularly for the gun and the rib sections uh, but mainly for the the cannon part. So um, I've already gone ahead and clipped all the parts out that we need. So I'm working on an angle to my usual desk so uh, all the bits and bobs for the cannon I said I've already gone and clipped out so they're all ready to go so bear with me two minutes and um, I will get some uh, sticking and some gluing done Okay guys, so we have the cannon built. Nice, quick, easy assembly. Um, and it does say in the instructions, build it to this point and then paint the whole thing. Because obviously once it's covered in all the ribs, it's going to be an absolute pig to get into. But that's the cannon assembly. Um, the set of wiring on the top here, hopefully I'll have got these two outside bits at the right sort of height for what they have to actually hook onto. Um, I guess I will find that out when I put the uh, put the whole thing together. But it's nice thin plastic so I should be able to bend it to how I need it. So that's the cannon and um, what I'm going to do now is give this a minute or two to dry and then uh, crack on and get it painted. So uh, I will crack on with this and I will see you back when it's painted and then crack on with uh, doing the rib sections. Catch you in a few. Okay guys, so I've painted up the cannon as much as I'm going to. So as you can see highlighted in the green energy coils running up the body of the cannon the orb on the bottom and once that dries up I'll give that a nice gloss varnish just to uh, to bring that up there. I will paint these cables in as greens again but they're still quite um, delicate um, so I'm, I'm going to wait till the glue sets a bit more. Um, it looked very plain having it all as the uh, tin bits so I've picked a couple of bits out in bulk and metal just to highlight it a bit and the big old moor at the end um, has been done shining gold. Yep, shining gold. So in terms of the actual cannon itself, fits into the front section like so. I did the front gold so it would match the plate and the generator at the back here. It just brings a theme along it, just a couple of spot colours. But you can see it's, it's a pretty big vehicle. So um, the next bit that I'm going to work on 
is the rib sections that are going to go across the top from here. Um, so that is going to be... Whoa! Let's not drop everything. That is going to be boring and repetitive as hell. <laughs> and uh, basically, the two halves to make one. And again, it's all recommended to paint this all before going to the next stage. Um, the six rib sections and ten of the Gauss cannons to go in between. So I'm going to cut everything out off camera. Um, and then show you the basic assembly of the parts back on camera. So two minutes and uh, I'll be right back. Cheers guys. So we're on to the rib sections then guys, which come as the two separate parts. So assembling these really is nice and easy. Bit of glue. And you're in. And there are six rib sections to assemble, and all six rib sections go together oops, in the same way. So, bits with the spikes, bits without the spikes, and they clip in together. And the idea is once you've got them all assembled and together, they interlock to give you that big long spine section. So that's why they want you to paint everything separately because otherwise it's a pig to get in between them. So that's two of those. The other bits that you get, we bring that in, are the Gauss cannons that go in between everything. They come in three parts. So the first thing to do is put the actual nozzle, I suppose you could call it, the uh, the end of the barrel on. Be a flash hider if it was an assault rifle, but uh, I really don't know whether Gauss weapons have a flash or not. So that goes onto there, and then there's this little nubbin on the back, we on the back here which fits into that like so and then these guns once you have them all assembled fit in between the rib sections so when you're putting everything together, you have the Gauss arrays in the sides, so you can broadside people, which is just awesome. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and paint all of these sections up, paint all the guns, get everything assembled, and then uh, I'll come back to you when it's all painted and do the final bits of assembly for everything. So, stay tuned and uh, bear with me while I get some painting out of the way. Back in two ticks. Well, two ticks for you, a little while for me. Okay guys, so, uh, a little bit later on in the day now, some frenzied painting done. So we've got the rib sections all glossed up, the details highlighted on the bottoms, the veins picked out on the top, and we're going to start getting everything together for them. So the very back vein has these little, uh, we're not quite sure what they are, they look quite similar to the um, projectors on a dispersion shield. So I guess this what gives you your um, armor value 13 as opposed to the normal 11 until your first penetrating hit. So these are going into the uh, back slot of there. Bring some light over it. And 
do the same again on this one. Next bit to pop in are the first of the Gauss uh, arrays. So again, I'm just going to pop this straight in to the side like that. And on the other side, same again. In we go. Now, next section is the actual next rib. So we'll coat this nicely in plastic glue along with the tips of here. And we're going to fit the ribs together, he says, hopefully. And that's the first part of that assembly. And all that's left to do is go down and do all the others. So I'll speed it up from here because I don't think you want to sit and watch me do this in real time. It'd be a bit boring if you did. That is that part of the assembly all done, all dusted. So we have that part, we have the gun, we have the basic carriage, And we have the prow. So this whole thing goes together. I'm just looking at the prow, I'm very, very tempted to put some blue across here as well. I'll see what it looks like on the uh, on the thing, but I'm very, very tempted to sort that out. In fact, yeah, I think I will. I'm gonna do a quick bit more painting now, back in two minutes. Okay, so I've repainted the prow to bring it in line with the rest of the ship, enameled the blue, picked out the detailing on it. So let's uh, get everything assembled, shall we? I'm gonna start by fitting the rack to the actual prow. 
So we're going to get the old glue out again. Got a nice liberal smothering into there. Slot everything together. Now this is going to be one of those projects where you're going to have to glue things, leave them to set before gluing the next in. So while I'm uh, waiting for this, I'm going to pop it down like that. And I'm going to just leave it there for the glue to set. And once it's set, come back and we'll pick everything up from there. Okay guys, so the glue's had some time to cure, so it's not gonna fall apart, which is uh, a good thing. So we're going to put the uh, cannon in the bottom now. So again, we're gonna get our glue back out and absolutely coat the damn thing. So I want to get a really, really good bond on there because the way that this is designed, the cannon is what supports all of the weight of the craft. So all of the weight comes into that little joint there. So it's all going to sit here on this joint. All the weight of everything above it is transferred through this joint down to the stand. So it needs to be secure. So uh, I might just be going a little bit overboard with the glue but stuff it, why not? And we've got a little bit of a supporting block here. So we're gonna make sure that there's a bit of glue across these parts as well. We're about to find out if I've got these in the right place. So we're gonna have to slide the cannon in. It's a bit fiddly making sure that all the parts and the joints, I don't know if you can see it too well, and the top there actually fit in as well as at the back here. And now comes the fun part. If you can see, if I move the light, just in here, this doesn't quite match up to where it should sit. So we'll pull that up. Same on this side here. So I'm gonna push that up a little. So, that's all into there, eventually. Nice gold cannon at the front there. And last but not least, I stick the prow on. So, more glue around everything. on the front there. So, took a little bit of doing to get here guys, 
Uh, sorry about the long time between the first and second half of this video. But that... is my doomsday arc. All built. All assembled. All painted. And all ready to blow some holes in some marines. Which will be good. So, large flying base goes in the hole in the bottom there. And this is one of my problems with this kit. It is very, very back heavy. You can see that rocking back there. The balance on it is, is atrocious. It really is. Um, which is why you really have to make sure that these two joints at the front here are really securely held with the glue. So you've got to give it a lot of time to cure, otherwise it'll just pull itself apart. Um, it is a nice kit. It's fun to build, it really is. Um, like I say, it's just taken me so long to work with a bit of enthusiasm for it. And same with the, the Ghost Arc. My complaint, my only complaint with this kit is the balancing, getting it onto this stand. Ooh which he says he can't actually do it, getting it to stay on the stand and stay in one piece. So I think what I might end up doing is making a custom stand for this that just supports it along here a little bit as well. Um, but either way, it's built, it's in one piece. Thanks for watching guys. And I'm looking forward to tearing this around the battlefield, blowing a few people up with it. Happy gaming, and I'll chat to you later. Bye.